Hi there, my name is Keaton Sweat. I'm a co-founder of MindSumo, and I want to give you a quick walkthrough of our client dashboard. Um, so you'll see that it's broken into three columns, and over on this left-hand column, this is where you're going to do a lot of the rating and filtering of the submissions as your challenge progresses. Um, so it starts with custom tags, and so these are different buckets or groups that you can create that you can assign to specific solutions as you review so that you can see what are those trends, what are those buckets, and what are those kind of key things that are popping up from the solutions as the challenge progresses. Um, Right below that, if I go down, there's what we call intelligent tags. These are similar, but the difference is you actually create pre-populated keywords with these tags. And anytime those keywords pop up, then that's gonna automatically be pulled into the intelligent tag. So for example, if you wanted to have an intelligent tag of social media and then put TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter in there, anytime those keywords pop up in the solutions, that will be pulled into the intelligent tag. And I'll show you later where you'll be able to see that information. Um, we also provide some pre-populated rating tags to help you find what you're looking for easily, um, keyword search functionality, and then some other sorting filters. Um, down at the bottom are just the specific statistics of the challenge as it progresses. And then down at the very bottom is an additional control section where you can do things like invite other people from your company to have access to the dashboard and other, other actions like that. Uh, moving along to this middle, this middle column, this is where the actual submissions are housed. Um, you'll see that some of these submissions are showing up in green. That means that those users have already won challenges on MindSumo. So it's a good indication that they are quality users and it's a good place to start in your review process. Uh, but if I click into one of these submissions, this is, what the, this is what the actual submission looks like in the review stage. Um, so you'll see the submission itself is here in the middle. It's scrollable. You can come in, you can add highlights. Um, and it's a great way to kind of pull out those things that are most important to you. Um, and then what you're also able to do is you can discuss. So I clicked discuss. And then what you can do is actually create um, a little message that you might want to send to the rest of your team who might be reviewing this solution with you. I'm just going to remove that so it doesn't stay there. Um, additionally, over here on the right hand side, this is where you're going to actually do the review and the rating of the challenge of the submission itself. And so in this case, it's a simple one to 10 scale. You can just click whichever number you want to assign your rating. Um, you'll see this is where all the custom tags you've created we pulled up and you can choose which ones to add to that submission if you want to call any of them out. If you want to create a new custom tag too, you can just click this little plus button right here. Additionally, the intelligent tags, these are the ones that are keyword associated. If you hover over these, then it's going to highlight where the keywords might be showing up in the solution. And so, for example, when I highlight over employer connections, you'll see that employer connection shows up in the submission highlighted in blue. Um, and then down at the bottom, this private notes section is a little forum where you and the rest of the people on your team can discuss a submission and have a little back and forth as you progress. Lastly, you're able to star the submission with the star button, which will show up on the main screen. And then this problem solver button gives you the ability to message directly with the user who submitted the solution. Um, additionally, you'll see at the top, there is a download button, which allows you to download all of these solutions as a PDF, or you can do it as a CSV if you prefer working in spreadsheet format. Um, and moving on, lastly, we have the insights and data section. And so this is where you're taking all of that work you're doing with your rating, your reviewing, and we're actually going to create some visual elements to help you see how the challenge is progressing and what kind of what that visual representation of the quality and the output looks like. And so it starts with your personal ratings. And so if you hover over, you know, in this example, only three solutions have been rated. So you can see that one has received a 10, one a nine, one an eight. All of these elements also, you can export them in different file formats uh, just to make it easy in case you're creating your own presentations to share internally. Um, the overall ratings show the, app, you know, the average rating um, of the entire team that is working on the challenge. And then what we do is we actually pull out all of the individual highlights so that you can you know, pull those out if you want to put them in a separate report, uh, just kind of see what those key, you know, those key themes and ideas are that you're pulling out and highlighting as you review. We also give you a representation of all of the custom tags. Um, we give you the intelligent tag breakdown as well, and then create some word clouds and some engagement charts just to help you see how, how the engagement is looking over time. And lastly, we've got this interactive map where you can click in and see the locations of the solutions. The last thing I want to point out is this create report button. This allows you to create a report of all the different elements that we've been showing you so that you can you know, either have that as a PDF that can be emailed. You can also just choose to share that as a link. Um, and that is the general breakdown of the MindSumo dashboard. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us um, and we'll look forward to hopefully working on you with your challenges in the, in the, in the months to come. Thanks very much.